So we have this Medic 8. Is it Medic 8? a little highlighty and a little dark, but you know, very dark. Now that we are hopefully nice and relaxed, we can have a little lick at all this. It's like a little pouch, but it has like a strange texture to it. Almost like fleecy. Like a light fleece or something. Let's have a little lick at the magazine. I actually quite like their magazines. Do 
happy festive edit. I wonder if there'll be a lot of like advertising for Christmas stuff. Winter wellness tips. Make your makeup last all day. Inner Christmas calm. Parties perfect eyes. Rose stem cells. <laughs> stem cells I like the stem of the flower also. That's cute. Behind the theme festive. Christmas traditions. What's coming up? Okay. Oh, this works. No, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's unzip. Let's see. In our little pouch. Oh, I recognize two things. Right. Yeah, that is classic. And I can recognize some Christoph Robin in there too. It's a nice, like, wipeable inside. That's cool. Okay, let me just grab everything in order of the magazine. Number one. This medic eight, the medic eight with an eight, and it is micellar mousse, purifying and nourishing, effortless rinse off cleanser. Hmm. No cotton pad required. Why? Because it's a face wash. A velvety mousse rather than a traditional water for easy application and makeup removal without cotton pads. Combining purifying olive oil infused micelles with anti-pollution moringa seed extract to um, no, the beautifully creamy light as air formula effortlessly removes makeup and deeply cleanses the skin of impurities. This writing is really small. I think I might start needing glasses soon, guys. Um, the complexion is left nourished and refreshed, suitable for even the most sensitive of skins. Directions. Every morning and evening, pump micellar mousse into the palm of the hand and massage into Moistened face and neck. Gently remove by splashing with water and pat face dry. And it's okay for like waterproof makeup. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Avoid direct eye contact. But I guess like we're talking like waterproof mascara and stuff. So. It feels a little between the two, like micellar water with like a reusable cotton pad or cleanse your face. I don't know. But then I guess if you wash your face with like cleanser or just like a face wash, it doesn't necessarily remove your makeup. So maybe it's cool. You can kind of do both at once. <laughs> okay, nice. First product. What do we have next? A bit of rummaging for you there. We have the Christoph Robin hair scrub. So it is the purifying cleansing scrub with sea salt, which I used like once a week, which I already use once a week. So always happy to get more. Oh, that's cute. It's nicely put in the little pot there. Yeah, it smells like my, my shower. <laughs> yeah, I love this stuff. It's great. 
my hair routine is getting really where I want it at the moment, so I'm very happy. I'm using this once a week, and then I'm using Redken stuff. I don't know, I'll do a video about it one day when I, like, properly get it all nice and done. But, yeah. Love this stuff. Would highly recommend. We have the 3INA 24-hour pen liner 900. the line there underneath is pretty thin and nice. No, I, I think I'm definitely going to get use out of this and I'm going to like it. The brand rings a bell. I've definitely unboxed some things from them before because I remember being confused about their their name and their logo and everything. Okay. Cool. Oh, this is worth 8 euros. This is 6.72 like for the small and this is $14.95. What do we have next? Oh, by Terry. Oh, it definitely looks bigger <laughs> in, the, in the magazine. It's like almost actual size. Serum. I feel like I've had this and not used it yet. Or is it? Maybe not. It's not. Maybe not by Terry. So this is shade 4, 7 mils. Perfect your complexion with by Terry's Cellulose CC Serum. A color control elixir that delivers brightening, moisturizing, and correcting properties rejuvenate dull skin. Sounds pretty nice. Let's pop a little here. Oh, that looks very shiny. <laughs> looks a little highlighty and a little dark, but you know. Very dark for me. Maybe it'll like spread out and become Less dark. No, that's pretty dark. <laughs> Feels nice. It's maybe okay for me if I'm like super tanned, which doesn't happen a lot. So, mm, it smells pretty strong. It's not bad, but it's strong. Okay, well, I mean, I can maybe just add this to another CC cream that's too light for me. Doesn't look so bad on camera, but in real life, I can really tell. <laughs> that's too dark. Yeah, I might be able to mix that in with something that's too light for me. I'm sure I have one or two things. So it won't get wasted. It's very smooth and very nice. I get the serum-y aspect. Okay. And by Terry is a pretty nice brand, I would say. I use their um, loose powder, loose setting powder. I quite and thanks to the advent calendars, I have a second one, so I'm going to be using it probably all year. Okay, so next we have the hand cream. The classic, classic Neutrogena Norwegian formula hand cream. It's um, something I've seen like so, so many times. Um, I wonder if my mum used to use it. Or if I just like seen it everywhere. Oh, it is 
instant relief of dry chapped hands in just a drop. Um, I think I'm probably gonna recognize this scent. sure my mum used to have this. Yeah, that's cool. I might give this one to my partner, just because it's like a, a classic scent. It's not like girly or anything. A lot of the hand creams I have are very fruity, which I like, um, but this one could be quite good for him. The kids. Okay. Nice and full size. I've got two This isn't full size. This isn't. This is. This is. Okay. And the last item, apart from the silica gel, is a Fab First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I have this already, but I don't think I've actually used it yet. Six euros. Or six pounds, sorry. This is the most expensive thing, and it's tiny. <laughs> okay, so enriched with shea butter, eucalyptus, oatmeal, and ceramides, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream brings immediate comfort to tired, itchy, and flaky skin. Better still, the antioxidant element of this moisturizing formula also provides protection against free radical damage. Is this for the face? Doesn't say uh, from head to toe, so yeah, you can use it on your face. I wonder if it's this that I have or if it's just a lotion or body thing that I have. Well, this is body and face, so. Mm, smells a bit dusty. Yeah, smells a bit dusty. I feel like, is that the the oat? Where was that written? Oatmeal and ceramides. Oatmeal, yeah. I feel like it might be the oatmeal that makes it smell like that. I'm not sure. Okay, and then obviously we have the pouch. So here is everything. What do you guys think? It's not my favourite of the Look Fantastics. It's not bad, it's just not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Being like the Christmas one, like the December one, I was thinking, oh, it's going to be makeup. I mean, there are two makeup products, but I don't know, I just expected like a little palette, or even just like a, a little potted eyeshadow, something, I don't know. But I mean, Got a cool eyeliner, which will definitely, definitely get used. Got a nice serum-y CC serum. That unfortunately just a touch too dark for me, but I think I can still get use out of it mixing. This will get used for sure. This I'm interested in. This I'll pop to my partner and this probably get used. So it's all good. Nothing really getting passed on. Nothing really like jumping out at me as something exciting. I don't know. I feel like maybe if this was more my color, I'd be more excited about it. But even then, it's like quite a small size, so I don't know. I would say my favorite thing is the the eyeliner, just because I'm not definitely going to use it. And otherwise, I'm probably interested in most in this one. Okay. The little pouch is quite nice. Um, I like the fact that it's got like a wipeable inside so I can actually use it for products or makeup and stuff. Okay. And the Christoph Robin is excellent. I would be more excited if I didn't already have so much of it. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Okay, 
pretty nice. What do you guys think? Less exciting than other boxes. It's a really nice box. Amazing products. I just feel like because of the Christmassy thing, like they would have had something a little extra. I guess they have the pouch. It's not bad. Okay. So I am going to leave this video here. find your own little bubble of calm. For example, if you are in Shoreham by Sea, I don't actually know where that is. I'm guessing the UK, but it could be elsewhere. Um, like DS Music Drive. your name, but I hope that you're well. And I hope that you all have a love